welcome back to my channel. Well, our channel. I gotta get used to saying that. I'm used to the fashion show like being a one a one woman show, but on YouTube it's a two woman show. But anyways, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Keisha. I am one of the two girls that run the Fashion Sherlock YouTube here. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you like talks and videos on fashion, sales, and home decor. So let's get into what we are going to be discussing today. You know, we are transitioning into the fall season. Well, not here in Charlotte because yesterday it was hot and it's still humid. But most other places and fashion wise, we are seeing a transition into fall. So what I wanted to do in a couple of videos is talk about some fall trends that we're seeing, um, ones that I'm going to be standing behind and getting into um, things that I like are on my wish list to kind of fill in those trends or what's currently in my closet that I'll be pulling back out um, this fall 2021. So today we're going to talk all about shoes. You guys already know I love shoes. It, it's a given. So I'm going to talk about some fall shoe trends um, that I'm already seeing pop up um, a lot of fashionistas, influencers, me, myself, my sister, we've already started wearing and incorporating into our wardrobe. So let's get into it. So the first one that I want to talk about are loafers. They're great. They're easy. They're not a heel, so your feet won't hurt. Well, depending on the brand, your feet should not hurt wearing um, these shoes. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a pair of loafers that I recently picked up, but the ones that I will be wearing this season are the Prada loafers. And I've already worn these a couple of times and I really, really love them. The first time I wore them, they were a little stiff. Um, so I did have to get it or, you know, wear them so they can stretch out a bit. Um, I'm normally a nine and a half. Um, 40 and I got my true size in these so with the loafer specifically the one that I purchased I was really going in between and trying to decide between a thicker Luxole loafer or you know a more traditional sole size and I'm very very happy that I went with um, the just regular this is about maybe like a one inch soul as opposed to the really chunky because I think that might have limited me to what I can wear um, with these loafers. Definitely I think some outfit ideas you can wear with this trend. You can wear your dresses, be it short dresses like the one I'm wearing right now by Hill House. You can wear your midi dress. You can wear a maxi. Um, I would prefer going with a maxi that's very fitted or does have some sort of slit to it. Um, if you were going to go that route, definitely with some trousers, trousers that are well um, tapered and um, tailored. So with some mom jeans, um, I wouldn't really do your baggy jean with it um, just because I, 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 I'm not, you know, really a fan of that look. I heard skinny jeans are out, so, but I wouldn't really wear loafers with skinny jeans. Anyway, um, so yeah, so those are some inspiration or ideas for outfits that I would wear with a loafer. Definitely you can pair it with a dress and socks. I see that's really big. Any fashionable or fun colors and tights. I think the outfits and ideas are limitless with a pair of loafers. A few other pairs that I really enjoyed or think that you should consider. There are a few pairs by Celine. Um, she makes a really great loafer. Um, there is also Gucci, of course, you know, your go-to for loafers. Chanel has a loafer that came out last fall that actually got reintroduced this particular fall and it comes in a really nice gray. And then there's like this bubblegum pink. Well, it looks like bubblegum pink on the website, but with the pictures that I've actually seen 
of the item in real life. It's more like a blush nude tone. Oh, guys, this loafer. I'm really trying not to get on the reserve list or pull the trigger, but let me leave a picture of this pink loafer and you guys tell me what you think about it. So yeah, so it's definitely a lot of different options of loafers you can get into. All right, the next trend I'm gonna talk about in shoes is the cozy slide, slipper, mule, clog trend. Just anything cozy with shirling, sheepskin, fur, you name it, if it's lined, it's on trend for fall. We are seeing a lot of sandals, a lot of mules that are lined with this fabrication and I'm into it because it's like, are you still stuck in the summer or are you prepping for winter because your toes and your heels are out when you're trying to keep your feet warm. It's like your feet is in confusion and I'm all here for it because I was the girl, I was the girl who wore flip flops in the winter during high school and college. So this is right up my crazy alley. So at first I definitely was drawn and really into the Hermes um, version of the Sherling shoe. Um, they had the Cyphery in the Sherling and they also did the Oran and like I believe a few colors um, with that sheepskin or Sherling lining. Of course, it's hard to find, it's sold out. I think I actually heard it's now part of or it is a quota item now. So that's how much the girls out there were loving it. Um, so I decided to go a little different route. Uh, my sister had actually alerted me um, to this shoe. She saw it on a website that we shop frequently and I was like, oh yes, oh yes, those are it. So let me show you. All right, so these I've already, I think I have a short already on YouTube here um, showing me unboxing these but these are the Valentino Sherling slides um, it is a beige ivory color the leather straps here is this really nice darker color beige and then the studs are in this gold tone oh look at it even looks good with what I have on right now but guys, these are absolutely amazing. I love them. I have not worn them out yet, um, as you can see. So they are pretty brand new to my closet. But I'm going to be wearing these a lot. Um, now sizing, as I mentioned, and you guys already know, I wear between a 9.5 to 40. I did get that shoe in the 40. I do wish that I had sized down to the 39. I believe also my sister, she has the same shoe because you know, you know how we do. We talk about items and sometimes we end up getting the same thing. It's fine, we don't wear the same size. So she normally wears a 37 and when I told her it ran a little large for me, she actually purchased the 36 and she said it worked out perfectly. So definitely this shoe, does run large to size. Now what I'm wearing it with, I'm throwing it on, <laughs> period. I'm just throwing it on. Like I'm wearing it with jeans, I'm wearing it with slacks, I'm wearing it to go get the mail, I'm wearing it to go pick up my daughter from daycare. I am just throwing these shoes on with everything. So definitely gonna put some outfit inspirations on shorts here. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see some pictures of some outfits as well there with these shoes. Um, I do have a photo I'll share of my sister recently wearing the shoes and she paired it, you know, with a cult Gaia Sarita inspired dress. And I definitely liked the way that ensemble came together with the shoes. Um, some other brands um, with this type of style that you might want to consider. There are some other numerous pairs by Valentino. I know they made a little, like a slide in version. JW Anderson came in or made their chain mule 
with that shirling material inside coach has a really cute one um that's coming out i've checked i don't see it in the store yet but definitely watch out for that pair the hermes you know if you can get your hands on one of them i like it so definitely that is one that you can try to score um as well as let me think is there anything else oh there is a pair on nordstrom by jimmy khan i will post the picture of that one here that you may want to consider as well and i know i do have a blog post as well talking about these shoe trends so if there's any brands or styles that i miss definitely go to the link in my bio or description below to that blog post and you can see all of the shoes that I recommended under each of these trends. Okay, let's get into the next one. All right, so the next shoe trend that I am, you know, digging, I've already wore it last season, um, and I'm gonna continue to wear it into this fall, is the Lug Sole Boot. Okay, if you guys don't already know, these are the Bottega Veneta tire boots. Um, it came in numerous colorways um, and they just recently launched a few more colors in spring. There is a lilac, a pink colored sole bottom. If you've seen my sister's video, she has the one with like a kiwi green um, sole at the bottom. So definitely your options on a lug boot are endless. Now, some other brands that I might recommend um, you look at for some lug sole boots. Ghani um, has some really cute ones and cute colorways in their boots. There is a Stella McCartney lug boot that I do see a lot of people wearing. I'm not a really big fan of the white sole. I think especially if you live in the city, it will eventually get a bit dirty. So I tend to shy away from that particular um, shoe, but definitely if it's it's your you know your cup of tea get into it there is a balenciaga combat or lug sole boot that i've seen i think it's kind of been under the radar but i like it it's called the balenciaga strike boot and i'll leave a picture of it here um it usually comes with a black body but i have seen it with different color lug soles i've seen a white I've seen a red, and definitely I think that's a good option to consider. Also, Givenchy just came out with, it's not a thick lug um, sole, but I think it's super cute. It's a black and pink colorway boot. So definitely that would be one to consider as well in your lug boot option. With the lug sole boot trend, we are seeing right now some heeled versions. You guys already know. I'm a Bottega boot fan. I'm a, fuck that. I'm an overall Bottega shoe fan. But they made the boot version, as I mentioned in the, the one my sister has, in one with a heel. I think it's called the Flash. But the girls have told me those joints are heavy. Like, heavy, heavy, heavy. So, yeah, you won't see me buying those. Now, what do you wear with these boots? I tend to really stick to wearing the boots with shorts. If you have a really cute, you know, knitted short set, love the boot with it. If you have, you know, as we're transitioning into fall, if you're wearing any kind of shorts with a chunky sweater, put the boots on with it, love it. I also love wearing the boots with dresses. I don't know why, but I just think the balance of chic with a little bit of street or thickness and the bottom um, really kind of balances and pairs well. So those are some options of items and inspiration for styling your new or already in your closet lug sole boot. The next shoe trend, I only got two more guys. Stick with me. If you're still here, yes. If not, Come back but well I hope you come back but yeah two more trends to go through in regards to shoes now this one we've seen before I don't think I wrote about it in my blog post but it's this Western um, shoe trend specifically in a knee-high boot 
I technically can't do knee high boots because your girl got some thick, real thick calves. So no boots really work for me unless it's stretch. I don't really do the, I don't know. The stretch, the stretch boot, boot, can't even talk. The stretch boot is cute, but uh, I be seeing these, these knee high boots. All right, let me leave a picture of the one that uh, this trend is calling my name, but I just know I don't want to set myself up for disappointment. These neon green ones. Oh, God. But anyways, let me not dream a dream that cannot come true. But yes, the Western style um, or, or knee-high um, boot is very on trend um, for this fall. I already own two boots in my closet that fall into this trend, so I don't think I'm gonna buy into anything else. Um, I recently took a picture with the ankle version that I own. It's a pair of Valentino in a tan color. Um, I recently wore it with the striped dress. Um, so definitely that is, you know, a kind of Western boot you can get into. I also own a pair of Fendi Western boots. Um, that I bought a few seasons ago. I actually bought it in a pink embossed colorway, not the um, FF logo version that I know everyone was going crazy about. I have it in um, kind of like that mid, midi length version, um, full transparency. I haven't worn it too many times because guys, that shit is a bitch. A bitch to get on and off so I have not worn it too much but I'm gonna try to pull it out this season because I do love the boot every time I try to sell it I don't so I'm gonna get into that trend for fall and you will be seeing me with my old Fendi boots and nobody get at me talking about those boots are old because what's old is new and speaking of old is new, my final and last trend for this fall are retro sneakers. You guys already know I have, I love sneakers. There's a video, um, I'll link it below, talking about my favorite sneakers. Um, so for this season, we are seeing the reemergence of those styles that we've known and loved um, a few seasons of the past. So there is the most recently launched Gucci basket sneaker. It's a high top sneaker. It really reminds me of those old school sneakers you would see the basketball players wearing. Um, it is, you know, it comes in so many different colors. They're bright, they stand out. It is really for that guy or girl who really wants their feet to do the talking. Um, I personally don't know if I'll be buying into that specific pair, but um, the second sneakers that I really love that fits into this kind of retro aesthetic is the Lan Van Curb sneaker. My sister has her most recent video of her unboxing it. She's taken a number of different pictures already in these sneakers. It's giving me that retro um, vibe or nostalgia of the Isabel Morant sneakers. So I'm definitely here and getting into that style. She might influence me to buy a pair, but I don't know, women have been sold, the women version have been sold out. So I haven't found it yet, but she might get me to buy that pair because she's been rocking the shit out of it and I'm sold. Um, the next and last shoe retro sneaker that I see popping up on my feed um, or with the girls and the guys are Uptowns. Yes, Nike Uptowns are making a comeback. I think they've made a comeback for some time, but I'm definitely getting into that sneaker again. I might buy a pair. I know um, Tori recently got a pair in a pink version. So yeah, we are here and we are into the Nike Uptown. Of course, there's some other retro sneakers that you can consider. I will link them below. Um, but yeah, that's it in regards to shoe trends um, that I will be rocking. Um, if there are any others that are on your radar that I haven't 
um, mentioned in this video, leave it in the comments below. How do you feel about the trends that I discussed in this video? Are you into it? Are you not into it? Do you want another alternative of styles to consider? Leave a comment below as well. Always, always, always on Instagram, I will be sharing looks and inspirations with all of these styles included. Remember to comment, subscribe, like this video, and follow along for more. Bye, guys.